this government has done is they have cut off cheaper fuel was coming. They have cut off. I say no. He did we are pay that we have enough. They went on and took a man, an Indian man by the name of Sashi Patel, and gave him a contract to be supplying petrol, diesel, and petroleum to be supplying to Zambia. Do you know how the price of the fuel contract that they cancelled? That fuel that they cancelled was supplying at 19 kwacha 15 web. 19 kwacha 15 web. That is the true price, the landing price of petrol. 19 kwacha 15 web. Why are we buying it at 29 kwacha 18 web? Why are we buying it at almost 30 kwacha? When the landing price, Omotengo fila ababa divoni ababa ale later petrol kuna kuzambia uku ileta yonzi asafika muzambia mpa at nineteen kwacha fifteen we nineteen kwacha Zambians right now you are supposed to be buying petrol at nineteen kwacha fifteen we you are supposed to be buying diesel at nineteen kwacha fifteen we that is the true price now these criminals you call your government. Sanctioned by the head of state, decided to cancel this contract, and I can tell you what they are doing. So, from the twenty, from the fifteen quarter, nineteen quarter, fifteen way, that is the true price. They are selling us at thirty quarter. My friend, these people are getting. This is nineteen fifty minus thirty. These guys are making almost nine quach. They're making nine quach for every liter per liter. So what they are doing is this same fuel that otherwise they could even be using now this same fuel that landed that could have landed at nineteen quach. They are now selling. But this is a man, Zambia, who was promising, saying the reason why PF was selling at 22 kwacha is because there was a middleman. And that middleman, according to him, was getting three kwacha. Now, this new Don government, hiding in the minister, these people are getting nine kwacha off the fuel that you Zambians should have been buying. And they have been lying, lying, lying to the country. No, the global price. Let them tell you how much is the landing price? How much? Kufka pa 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 Zambia pano. It is nineteen quarter fifteen way. How is the fuel is supposed to be at nineteen quarter fifteen way becoming thirty quarter? How? And they lied to us this month and say no. They have maintained the price. They have maintained the price of stealing nine quarter. They have maintained the price of stealing nine quarter. That is what they are doing. These people are not good people. These people have just begun. This is their second year. They will make sure they milk this country. They milk this country. They have destroyed this country before. They have destroyed this country before. And I want us to be wary, Zambians, because it can only take us defending this country. They have destroyed this country before. And they can destroy it again. Look, Zambia was a functioning country. We had industries on the Copper Belt. These were running industries. This Creek of people came, sold those industries. They sold them to themselves. Valeiba. They gave themselves mines. I've got a book. I think a military book, right? I've got a book that shows exactly who stole what, took where in here in Zambia. Most of these people no, but Akainde is a rich man. I can point to you properties that are highly questionable now we acquired it. Of course, he couldn't be challenged by the previous government by, by MMD, they couldn't challenge him because he worked with MMD. They couldn't challenge him. PF couldn't challenge him because PF was a breakaway of MMD. Michael Sata was Secretary General. Of what? MMD. And he formed PF. PF could not challenge. Because even most of the rich people in PF benefited from the privatization. Now what we have is UPND. The real masterminds of the loot. They are now the ones in power. So when they are selling you fuel at 30 kwacha, know that for every liter. So every time you buy two liters, know that 18 kwacha has been stolen by the UPND government. Has been stolen by Wakainde Chilema and his, his clique. 
when you buy four liters, know that 36 kwacha, 36 kwacha, you are giving to them. Every time you buy five liters, know that 45 kwacha, 50 kwacha, when you buy five liters, it's these people who are supplying through Sashi Patel. The new don. I want to maramona. You Zambians, you wait. By the time we are going to elections in 2026, these people who are new PND government will be billionaires. You mark my word. You mark my word. By 2025, by 2025, these people will be stinking rich. Now tell me, where are they going to get money by 2024? Where are they going to get money? Salary of a minister is not much. These people are institutionalized stealing. Is to wait, Zambia. You wait. If you want, start watching these ministers. Right now, they, they look poor. Because indeed they are poor. But if you can be making for every five liters, every five liters you buy, Zambia, every five liters you buy, you are giving 45 kwacha to ministers and business partners of Waka in Chilima. Every time you buy. So if you buy 10 liters, it means you are giving 90 kwacha. If you buy 10 liters, 90 kwacha is going to Waka in Chilima and his friends. If you buy 10 liters, 10 liters, it means per liter, they are making 9 kwacha. That's 90 kwacha. Mwebashita, 20 liters. So it's 20 by 9. 180 kwacha. Every time you buy 20 liters, just know that 180 kwacha. 180 kwacha. Because the true landing price for petrol in Zambia is 19 kwacha 15 way. Enough is enough. We are seeing this suffering because we have got people that are greedy. People that don't respect you and me. People who when we put them in office, they think about themselves. People who are so compromised that when they are in government, they are thinking about the people that sponsored them. They are not thinking about the people that voted for them. They are thinking about, ah, Uyu Pateo, Ala Diamo Shan. Asa Diamo Zingatu Pateo. Uyu Muzanga, Intau Ya Sfika, Naise Tidiemo. Bagani Zaveba Zabela Zikolino. That's how they are thinking. And these things are real. These things are true. People steal. People loot this country. Zambia and Africa, we are poor because number one, we have a leaders that are weak. They are greedy and when they go to power, they are able to serve interests of other people, not Zambia. I'm telling you Zambia, the day will have a leadership, the day will have a political leadership of people that are not selfish, of people that are not greedy. The day will have people that have got ideas and are brave enough to move these ideas. You can have good ideas, but you need to be brave. You need to be a man and a woman of iron. You need to be disciplined and you need to sacrifice and die for your people. Until we have a leadership that is able to die for Zambia, that's able to push for Zambia, Zambia, I am a mean rose, yes, all the copper we have, Yakalafi are brought to make people rich.